All right, what's going on dudes, and welcome back to Minecraft. This time we'll be going over a relatively new mod. It's called Bibliocraft, and as you may be able to gather from the name, it does have a little bit to do with books and libraries, at least to a certain extent. Although I assure you, there will be no reading or writing assignments, so you can breathe a sigh of relief at that. Sneak peek. Okay, I didn't show too much there, did I? I hope not. So let's start off with some items and their crafting recipes, beginning with bookcases. So it's made with some wood planks and some half slabs, as actually most of the items in this mod are. And I should mention that any of the wood-based items, which is all of them except for one, I believe, can be made with any of the four types of planks. So you can have a jungle bookcase, you can... <laughs> a jungle book case. It, uh, it contains only the jungle book, only copies of that. Um, anyway, you can have a birch wood, jungle wood, um, spruce wood and uh, oak wood bookcases or, or any of the others for that matter. So bookcase first, you can store books in it. We'll get to the actual mechanics of it in just a few minutes. This is a potion shelf made with, again, wood slabs and wood planks and a glass bottle. You can store potions in it and it would start raining. Um, again, we'll get to the mechanics of all these in just a, a few short minutes here, but uh, moving on to a shelf, this Again, comes in any of the different wood colors, and uh, over here we have a tool rack, and that's just made with some added iron to it. So over here we've got the next four items, and starting off with the only non-wood-based item in the mod, which is an armor stand. You can store armor on it. This is a display case, and you can actually, in addition to the four different wood types, put in four different types of wool, so I think it's green, blue, black, and red. So you can have a total of 16 different types, different styles of the uh, display cases. So that's kind of cool. The, uh, the item right here is called a label. It's for putting on a chest or any other type of storage block. And uh, it allows you to use a, a visual block to, to label what's inside the chest or what other, whatever other uh, container item it is. This is a desk, and it's the final item uh, in our little crafting recipes here, and you can just put some books on it. And, well, why don't we actually go ahead to uh, getting into how these things work. So, I'm totally going to get my actions mixed up here, so I'm going to do it, and then say what it does, I think. So, right now, this is a, an example of a full bookcase. So, if we shift and right-click on it, that's how we actually fetch a book out of the bookcase right here. Now, if we right click, no shift, no nothing, just a regular right click with an empty hand, it should load up the entire book or bookcase UI right here. And you can actually manually drop in or remove books like so when it's in this position or shift click them in. It doesn't really matter. Um, but what I should mention is that it will only accept three out of the four different types of books. So you can't actually put in a regular old book. It has to be either a book and quill or an enchanted book or as you can see here a bunch of written books in it so obviously that works too but not a regular book. Regular books don't work. Now additionally if we bring these on down into our hot bar here and just right click on the bookshelf regular right click with it in hand it'll actually go ahead and store it and again um, won't work with a regular book and shift right click to fetch it out. So that's how the bookshelves work. Cool, cool. And again, I have it set up here in all the four different wood varieties as I do for all the other items here. All right, so moving along to the potion shelf. It works actually in the same way as the bookshelf. We'll go and give ourselves some potions in our hotbar here. If I right click on a shelf, and it's actually, um, I forgot to mention this with the bookshelf. If you right click on the top, it'll store the book in the top shelf. If you right click on the bottom, it'll store the book in the bottom shelf. Hold on, we can just do a little, little example because I forgot here. Top shelf, didn't mean to shift click that. Okay, and bottom shelf. So that's how it works. And it works the same way with potion shelves, except you actually have three shelves to choose from. So right now we will right click on the top shelf with our potion right here and you'll notice goes ahead and stores itself um, on display in the shelf and just like the bookcase you can shift right click to retrieve it back. Again if I wanted it in the middle just right click on the middle shift right click to retrieve it and same for the bottom. Now as far as I'm aware you can only retrieve it in order in the order it displays on the shelf so even though I shift right click on the leftmost one it still gives me the one on the right so it loads and unloads in order. So that's that. Potion display shelf. Now these, these are just shelves 
over here. So it's it's sort of all purpose. It can actually act as a bookcase. It can act well. It doesn't display the books in the same manner as the bookcases do, but as far as potions go. It does work in the exact same way as the potion shelves, except it can display any item. So here we'll go ahead and place some items down in our hot bar right here. Clock, as you might actually expect, does function with the, the time when it's displayed on the shelf, just as it would when it's placed on a wall or just in your inventory. And uh, then things like redstone and a fence and a block of gold and again, it actually will place it in whatever quadrant you're aiming at. And if I shift right click with an empty hand, it'll actually bring me into the, the UI so I can manually place items down however I'd like. And uh, then again, they will simply display like so. Now if I right click, just a regular right click, not a shift right click this time, it'll give the item back to me. So slightly different mechanic um, as far as that goes. But uh, yeah, just universal item display shelves. You can put whatever you want down, including yo dog, I heard you like shelves. So moving along here, we have our tool shelves. So these can be used to display only things like pickaxes, shovels, swords, axes, hoes, so on and so forth. Again, comes in all the different wood varieties and uh, functions in the same manner as shelves do. So here's a shift right click and that brings up the UI. If I simply right click, it's gonna give me the whatever item I, I right clicked back but I have to actually be over the quadrant. So these are broken up into four quadrants. This is a fully loaded shelf right here, or um, tool rack, I should say, to go by its appropriate name. Hold on, let me set it back to morning here. And uh, again, you can place your item in whatever quadrant you want it to, just based upon where it's aimed. So that's how that works. Now here's an armor rack. It's actually very cool. So there's no shift right clicking or anything involved. Just a right click will bring up the UI. And this over here is actually your armor UI. So you can transport it directly. The shift click apparently doesn't work. Um, but just clicking and dragging, you can take it directly from the armor stand into your armor. So it makes it much easier. So now you can simply, let's see if the shift click, shift click works from you to the armor stand. It just doesn't work in reverse, I guess. So anyway, let's uh, take the helmet off. You'll notice it doesn't have a helmet now. Take the chest off and uh, you slowly disrobe the armor stand. So that's how that works. Pretty nifty. Now moving along, we have our uh, glass display cases. I use all, of, all the four different types of woods as well as the, uh, the four different colors. So you can see, yo dog, I heard you like display cases. So the way these things work is a shift right click will toggle them between open and close. That works for uh, all of them regardless of what position they're in, vertical or horizontal. And uh, in order to actually remove or place an item in it, it has to be open. And then you just do a regular right click and it'll grab the item out if there's one in, or you can place it again and it'll plop it right down into it. Can leave it open, can leave it closed. Doesn't really matter. It's just based upon your, uh, your preference, I guess. And again, right click removes it, right click places it back in. These are pretty cool, I, I think, personally. Um, and I, I thought I'd put heads in there because they're kind of like trophies in a sense, and it's sort of like a box to display your trophies. All right, so here's a little display of labels. So right here I have a gold and iron label as well as a uh, some Laker color labels. And if I open the chest, they sort of, I placed items in to correspond with the labels or I placed labels on to correspond with the items. Doesn't really matter which order it's stated in. This is just an example of a fully loaded label. If I shift right click on it, that's the only way to actually open up the UI and you can place blocks in that way. Or let's see if I remember, can you actually place a block in like that? No, you actually have to shift right click with an empty hand to go into the UI and then place a block in it like so. So that's how labels work. And last but not least, we have desks. So desks store uh, books only as far as I'm aware. Um, they only accept the same books as bookshelves, so it has to be either a written book, an enchanted book, or a book in quill. And uh, you just store them like that. A right click just opens up the inventory of the desk, and you can place books in that way, or you can simply right click if that's what floats your boat too. So yeah, that's, uh, it's basically just a whole bunch of different display items, aesthetics, things and stuff like that. Rather than you putting your items in a chest, you can put them out on display for the world to see. So anyway, that's the BiblioCraft mod. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, a rating would be much appreciated. Other than that, thanks for watching. You can find more mod info in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>